Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to create new database in Azure Data Studio. I am using Azure Data Studio. So first, we need to log in with master database. So add here, uh, just write, just click there. Here you get to local host SQL Server, SQL Login, here username SA and give the password. And here, this must be selected database master. Now here, connect. So it's connected with and here, master database. Now here, you can get this database inside master. Now here, after I'm going to create a new database. So add here, or select the master. Here after, go to new query. Now here, inside so first uh, add here let's write uh, create so here you can find create database create index now here create tables so let's select add here create a new database press enter so add here ready-made codes it's now appear so this is the beautiful feature of azure data studio so if you write something there after you get all the description now the next thing is so we need to create and here we need to give add here or database name so now here give the database name and here lay name so see add here whatever i change add here so it's affected at three point so add here this and here here now here after let's click on run so add here start execution and here uh, start execution query at line 4 command completed successfully now the next thing is we need to uh, refresh the database so see at here new database connected with the name Lenovo ok now here after you can try it any kind of query at this point now here after you can do the query inside Lenovo database so see at here Lenovo database here so there is a, no any tables inside Lenovo database now the next thing is so if you want to delete the database so here after the next thing is so you need to write so add here I just log in with master so to delete the database here you need to write drop here you can find at this point or drop database okay now here give the database name so this is add here the name of one now here after so this is the ready made query now here after let's execute that so see add here command completed successfully now here after select the database and refresh so see add here database deleted the neighbor database that I just created now it's deleted so this is the way here we can create database and delete the database using Azure Data Studio ready-made so it's very easy to understand at here use master you have to go if exits select name or from sys database so where it where Lenovo so if there is here from sys database where that found at here Lenovo so if this condition is match then here that will do the draw okay now if I try to execute the ones so see at here it's a command completed successfully now here I'm trying to drop once again so see at here cannot drop database because it does not exit so since it's already or deleted so deleted database cannot delete one again so this is the way we can uh, create or delete database in azure data studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you and one more thing so whatever you do creation or deletion in database so you should use at your master database okay so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video Thank you.